works. Music is it okay? So, yeah, sounds great. Actually, different things to different people. You know, we, you know, we hear differently music. Right. And uh, it's hard to. Uh, well, let me do it this way. I'm gonna quote a comment attributable to Louis uh, Armstrong. And the question was, what is jazz? And his response was, that if I've got to tell you, you'll never know. I, I felt pretty good. I, you know, I've been fortunate enough that I've been playing a little bit actually the last few months. Um, so we put our last performance March 15th at Mr. Toad's, and then I didn't play any performances until July. I think I did a smart gig there. So I took a lot of time off where there were be like three weeks where I didn't touch my horn, I didn't even play. And then we played outside here and there last summer. Well, what's wrong with this guy? He said, oh, that's Luigi. I said, well, who is he? He said, well, anybody that does anything with drums or something like that, or a great deal of uh, thanks to Luigi. The thing that got Luigi was I remember all the old musicians back then, and I would call their names, and Luigi was just, I think till the end, he was just baffled, bewildered, that I didn't know of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have a best friend, you don't talk to that best friend for like six weeks, but then you guys hang out, you pick right back up where you left off, that's what it was like for me. Uh, I've been playing, I played a gig last night with Doyle, but um, not as much as I'm used to playing. You know, it's just starting to get busy again. So yeah, it was, it was great to get back together. So. It's like breathing and having conversations and it's like coming alive again for, for a lot of us. The audience is, especially in jazz, they're used to hearing more keyboard oriented, you know, like Herbie Hancock or Chick Corea type of stuff. So it's, it's not as common to have a guitar player as the accompaniment player. There's nights where you know you wish you recorded everything, and and there's nights where you you, know, you record it and it sounds horrible. <laughs> so, but yeah, you get in the zone for the audience. first time I've ever played it with the band. It's the first time it's been out. I've only had it about two months. So it was uh, nerve wracking, but it went mostly okay. It's uh, a lot more sensitive and fingering. So one false move and it, it plays a note you didn't mean to play. So I'm still working on it. It was 
came back to Omaha and uh, he was, said, hey man, I'm looking for a bass player for Luigi, because he was playing with Luigi's band, and I went, yeah, sure, I'll do that. But uh, yeah, and then, well, I've been there ever since. But also, it's like, if you hadn't seen him for a while, you can bring something new into it, so like, you know, it, it stays fresh. It doesn't like, you know, it's always the same stuff all the time, because, you know, as you move through life, there's always going to be something new to bring into that. This guy hears we're from Omaha. Oh, do you do you, you know, know a, a five player in nice Omaha? You're from Omaha. Is his name? He's, yeah. I said, will you Luigi? He went, what? <laughs> you know Luigi? He says everybody in yeah. Omaha. Yeah. said, uh, my regular drummer's left, so you need to come down, you need to help us out. We need, and I said, Luigi, I haven't played in like two years. And he said, that's okay. I said, yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> he always said stuff like, oh, it'll be all right. Uh, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. So I went down and I played. And uh, so, I, you know, I played for a couple weeks and, and a couple weeks turned into a couple months. And I said, Luigi, how's that search going? He goes, oh, we found the drummer. It was me. Blow yeah. that smoke right in my face, man. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I had, you can't smoke it. Yeah, right. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I got me, baby. <laughs> <laughs>